children in this video we will see some more interesting examples of collecting data and representing them in a table hey bubbly what are you doing you had taught me how to collect data and represent it in a table so i am using that method to collect data on how many objects i have and representing it in the form of a table show me oh wow you are doing great but you did not use the second method that i taught you yes now i will collect data about some more objects and represent it in a different way in the table i will draw pictures of the objects that i have okay you do your work and i will go now okay so as we all know that summer season is nearing so i will collect data about the number of caps the number of goggles and the number of umbrellas and number of hats that i have so first of all i will make groups of similar objects first group of caps second group of goggles third group of umbrellas and the fourth group of hats now i will count the objects in each group i have four caps three goggles one umbrella and four hats now i will create a table like this and represent all the data in it there are four caps in the table so i will draw four caps there are three goggles so i will draw three goggles then there is one umbrella so i will draw a picture of an umbrella and there are four hats so i will draw four hats oh wow it looks good hmm my birthday is approaching now so i will collect data about the types and how many balloons i have so i can gift them to all my friends who will be coming to my birthday party so first of all i will make groups of similar animal shaped balloons first group of dog shaped balloons second group of snake shaped balloons third group of bear shaped balloons fourth group of camel shaped balloons and fifth group of monkey shaped balloons now i will count the animals in each group there are five dog shaped balloons in first group one snake shaped balloon in the second group two bear shaped balloons in the third group three camel shaped balloons in the fourth group and one monkey shaped balloon in the fifth group now i will make a table like this and represent all the data in it there are five dogs so five circles one snake so one circle two bears are there so two circles three camels are there so three circles and one monkey so one circle wow by representing data like this i can easily remember so much information children in this video today we saw some more interesting examples of collecting data and representing it in a table in the next video we will learn how to interpret data from the given table